Hey YouTube, just 1912 here today. I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your firmware to iOS 6. Same as yesterday, update your device to iOS 6, or you you update it thinking that was a jailbreak guy and it's not. There is a way to downgrade it to 5.1.1. There's I believe two to three steps to do it, and there's three applications you'll need: Snowbreeze to download the um, iOS firmware and create it and the other application you'll need is red snow and the third application you will need is tiny umbrella so you can save the SSH bulb and create it and put it and stitch it to your um, iOS I mean on your IPSW so all you have to do is download the um, you know download your firmware select the device this will only work for iPhone 3G and 3GS because um, I only tested out test this out on the 3GS on my brother's because he has to update his to no his phone was breaked and I had to update it to iOS 6.0 and I tried to downgrade it but it couldn't it didn't work and I found a way how to downgrade it like two to two to three days later and um, you ha and you have to activate your iPhone too you know by putting an AT&T SIM card make sure it has service and no pin lock on it so it just, so all this can work as well. Because I'll show you on the um, tiny umbrella. So select your device, select iOS, these 5.1.1, and just start to click to download. I already downloaded already. After it finished download, it's going to look like you know your firm, your iOS, the, the firmware is going to look like that. Then after you finish doing that, you're going to have to use Red Snow. No, first, no, before that, you're going to have to go to tiny umbrella. So today you're gonna have to plug your device into your computer. Make sure it's locked and activated. My device is called Legend. That's how you know. Click it. This, these are the bulbs that is um, available for my device. But I do recommend 5.1.1 or 5.0. But really mainly 5.1.1 because it fixed the battery drain issues. So then after that you're gonna have to go to Advance. You can you can check Request SSH from Cydia and save all SSH save all available SSH. Then after you finish doing that, you're gonna have to just click save, and then to, to see how the progress is going, going to your log is gonna show, um, you know, the progress is it saving, is it eligible for your device or not. Then after that, after that, all these will, will be available, and, it's, and I'll go back to go back to advance. It's gonna be saved at your computer user user, user SSH. So. After that's finished doing all that, you could change it to you could probably you could change it to desktop too if you um change where you want your um thing to be saved at desktop or you know you can do anything it doesn't matter. So after that, just exit that out. Then you need Red Snow. And like I said, if you don't activate if your iPhone is not activated, the Ultra Snow. I mean, if your um iPhone is not activated. Tiny umbrella is not going to be able to do the thing. It's not going to be able to, you know, get the SSH bulbs until your um, device is activated. So you run Red Snow. Go on extras. Shows where would I? Go to SSH bulbs. Go to Stitch. You know, browse the IPSW desktop. And this is the one. Go then after that. If you know your um, you downloaded your SSH bulbs, your local will be available. Click that. Like I said, desktop. I mean, no. Computer. C. User. User. Then SSH is gonna be on the very top. Like I said, you save it to your desktop if you want to make it easier. So these are all the SSH that's available. The only reason why I have so many because I just I, I was downloading them just for, for this video. So, you know, you can select um, 5.1.1 and then it does all that. So I'm not going to um, 
continue that because I already have it downloaded already. But yeah, I should never have done that. Excuse me for a second. Let me try to uh, go to task manager and turn it off. All right. Excuse me, but that after your um your IPSW is finished creating, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have the number of I think the serial number of your device and the firmware that you want to restore to. So it's gonna be basically the SSH above stitched in there, so you will be um able to restore your device. Put your device in DFU mode. You know, go to iTunes, put your device in DFU mode. Push select and restore, and it will work. Then after that, you're going to have to go back to Snow Breeze again. I think it's running too slow. So you're going to go back to um, Snow Breeze. You're going to go browse for IPSU. And select the one that you downloaded the first time. Hopefully you do have all boot ROM. Go to the arrow key, and the reason why you have to do this because um, even if you do jailbreak it, and you're trying to get T-Mobile and trying to unlock your device, it's not going to work. Cause since you upgraded to I um, iOS 6.0, it's going to be stuck on that baseband. So you're going to have to create your own IPSU and manually enable downloading iPad baseband on there. Because even if you do use Red Snow and try to install iPad baseband, it's not going to work. Cause I tried it, so you're gonna have to do this so it could work. So now today you just can go on build IPSU. But since I already done that, so after the, after that's finished done completing your um. Your IPSU is going to look like that. So then after that, you're going to do Shift and Restore, and then that. Then after that's finished complete, your your device will be jailbroken and uh, it will be unlocked, and you will be able to have T-Mobile service on it. And if you want to downgrade your baseband, you can use Red Snow, and you know do the jailbreak procedure and all that. Then on the bottom is going to say downgrade to I downgrade from I you know I um iPad baseband. And after that, you'll be all clear. And then your iPhone will be you know be unlocked and jailbroken. So if you if you do need any help, just um inbox me, you know, comment, make sure you like and subscribe. I wish I could you know show you how to do the procedure, but I didn't know it was gonna be successful at the time when I was working on my brothers. So, you know, this is just one nine twelve here, peace.